Anybody remember this golf cart? Last year we converted it from lead acid to lithium and we used a Chevy Bolt lithium battery. Let me get this kickstand down. We used to have six lead acid batteries in here and there's three compartments for those lead acid batteries. And I wound up putting in this Chevy Bolt battery in 36 volt because this is an old 36 volt golf cart. Now this battery works great, but you can't get it right now. So we're gonna try using this different one today. Now this battery is also 36 volt, but it's currently available at battery hookup. So we'll try putting this one in the golf cart, see if we can roll. Here's the battery compartment of this golf cart. Now this is a really old resistor golf cart. So we have all these contactors and then over this way, those things that look like springs, those are big giant resistors. They get really hot. So if you're going slow, it's burning off some of the power in the resistor. This is a 10S 36 volt battery. I have a big fuse. Over here I have a big circuit breaker so I can disconnect that up front. You can check that right there. Here's the big giant circuit breaker that I put in. So we should have enough room to add this new one. Now this is the SPIM08 cells. These modules are capable of an enormous amount of amps. There's a big giant copper bus bar on each side. And this is what the individual uh, cell pairs look like. Each pair of those bolts is actually coming down on top of two cells. And the two cells have folded over their tab onto a central bar. Now that is just a zinc plated steel bar with regular old steel hardware. That's not where the current is being carried. The current's being carried across these bus bars. But you can see this is two individual cells put together in a pair. Over here we have one, two, three pairs. So that's a total of six cells. And then we're making the series connection over to the next set. On the end, we have one, two, three. And over here, also one, two, three. Now, all of these are currently available at Battery Hookup. Uh, you can buy these. Sometimes they have 24 volt modules, which would be really nice for a 48 volt battery. You just buy two of the four, 24 volt modules. And so I'll be playing with these in some upcoming videos, but I just wanted to show you. Now, if you're gonna buy any of this stuff, uh, it's currently available at Battery Hookup and you can use discount code David Paz. So here's the two sitting next to each other. As you can see, the Chevy Bolt battery is far more energy dense, uh, but this guy is capable of way more amps. I mean, just a crazy amount of amps. So that's why these are so popular to use them for e-bikes, because uh, you can really uh, push without worrying about overheating the cells. So when I need to find out a thread, I use this thread checker, and I'll leave a link for this in the description below. On the positive post, this threaded in pretty nicely. So that's an M6 by one. I've got it in position and I attached a strap to this board. Now I'm gonna screw this board down. Okay, the battery's in place. We still have a big giant fuse. We still have a big circuit breaker. And it's strapped down on both sides, blocked. And this is, uh, this is really bad. Don't do it this way. But it's just for demonstration purposes uh, because all of this is exposed. I don't have a BMS on it. Uh, and it should be uh, more enclosed to be waterproof. So if I was to uh, set this up more properly, 
I would move my contactors over, add the BMS and wrap this whole thing in a big giant heat shrink or something like that to try to help keep out if you wind up getting any splash in there. Okay, we finished that really quick install and again, I, I don't have a BMS or anything fancy on there, but we're just gonna see if it works. So let's find out. I just threw the circuit breaker on. It moved. <laughs> Make it up the hill. Not bad. And once again, these cells are currently available at Battery Hookup. You can get a discount with using code David Paws. And that is also an affiliate code. It's the way to track the affiliate, which helps out this channel. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.